Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, since yesterday I posted this chart uh, and I said that this is my outlook for Bitcoin as here on the weekly, we still have this median line that we need to reach. Uh, my This, as I said, I got a lot of questions and yes, I do believe this is my final target, this median line here for the entire bull run. I do think that when we reach this, so it depends if the, the quicker we reach it, the, the lower the prices. But let's say here's just an estimated guess that will be reached, say 20th of April, could also go into May. So let's say we'd reach 1st of May, the median line. So this would mean 92,000 would be my entire top for Bitcoin. Uh, a lot of people say that's a conservative target, but I do believe that too many people are expecting 100K. As soon as we break that 90K target, everybody's going to start screaming 100K, 100K. Uh, Bitcoin will be all over mainstream media and a lot of people will be stuck holding the bag expecting 100K while Bitcoin will correct before that. But as I said, we still have to see what Ethereum is going to do. And that will also determine the entire top of this bull run. But yes, in my experience, I, in my from my experience, I don't think Bitcoin will make uh, much, much higher than 100K. So I do think uh, the top will be around 85, 89, 90K. So let's cover now here. So we have this as a one, two, three, fourth wave. And I do believe we're soon going to start the fifth wave here on Bitcoin. Something that I mentioned before that I don't think we're going to go straight up here now on Bitcoin. Usually fourth ways they like to do some sideways chop before we go higher. So if you trade with high leverage, something to be cautious of. So here we can see we haven't reached yet the 0 0.31. So a small possibility, very small, I don't think we're too big that we still come down here before we go higher. But if we go away on the log scale, we can see here the 0 0.31 if we go on the weekly time frame. See here that we got a week below. So it has technically it has held still. We still haven't got that weekly close. But this 0 0.31 has technically held also here on the daily. We can see we have bounced from it. So this could also have been a bottom here. Of course, it's not a, the perfect entry that we expected, but it still it looks good here, even though we haven't tagged the on the log scale. So it, a big chance that the fourth wave is in here on Bitcoin. We're now starting the fifth wave going here to around 88,000. If we go here on the Ethereum chart, I so I really like how Ethereum is looking right now. I have had this major pitchfork that, you know, follow me. I have this magnet for a super long time. You can see here Ethereum bounced exactly one of these lines here. So my two favorite lines is the uh, 0382 and the 0 0.25 line. You can see on the both of these lines have acted both as resistance and as support and here as support again. So Ethereum has a very strong daily candle here, which it looks very bullish in my opinion. So I still have this as a major one, two, three, four, five. So if we take it from the second wave here on Ethereum, to the third way. We can see here similar on Bitcoin, we did not reach yet the 0 0.31. So there's a small possibility that we're still gonna go down here, test the 0 0.31 before then we'll go higher. But of course, it's not a must that we will test this. But if we were test it, it would be a very, very strong buy signal in my opinion. As I said, there's also a demand, very strong demand zone here on Ethereum. So here would be an excellent area to buy, but of course it, we're in a bull market, so it doesn't mean that we have to go there. But just something to keep in mind, if price would start to go lower, uh, it here would be a very good zone at 3000 to start buying Ethereum. Overall, I do st still think Ethereum is going to go to 46,000 and then eventually perhaps this we have to do see on Bitcoin. That's why I'm not entirely sure. Ethereum has possibility to go to this median line here. So if we remove all of these lines here. So Ethereum has a very strong possibility to even go up to 7,000, which would be completely amazing in my opinion. So this would mean another 124% for Ethereum, but this is something that we have to see what Bitcoin does because, because if Bitcoin reaches its, its median line before Ethereum, then of course Ethereum is gonna follow Bitcoin as well. But overall, I really like this daily candle I've gotten here on Ethereum. We can go here on the four hour. You can see we bounced perfectly from this line here. So big possibility that the low is in and right now we're starting the fifth wave. Of course, we're not gonna go straight up as I said, I don't believe we're gonna see this, but I do believe we're gonna see probably some more sideways chop before then we're gonna go higher. And which, which is very good for altcoins because altcoins like to rally while everything else goes sideways. So here we go on the total market up cap of all altcoins. We actually had this, as I mentioned yesterday, perfect reaction here on the median line and at this uh, order block here. If you go on the log scale, we still have to go to 1 trillion. So I do believe soon alts are gonna start to rally. We also found some support here on the 0 0.5 line on the of this pitchfork. So overall, I'm bullish on alts, but still be cautious because there's possibility we still drop lower. So I'm still 50-50 of many altcoins, but overall, I'm still bullish on the market. I don't believe the top is anywhere close in. Something I would really like to cover here nicely is uh, some altcoins now, if we look here at NIR. So NIR right now, uh, he's a very good level. I st still think NIR is gonna go to this median line up here, as I've been saying for a long time, around 1720. If you go here on the daily, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, and I posted this, even for those who are not in my VIP Discord or in my Telegram. So I said this would be a very excellent area. You can see NIR 
bottomed exactly at the 0.31, which is a very bullish signal. So this means we have one, two, very strong case for a fourth wave here. And right now near is going up to the fifth wave. So next target for near is at 12.2. And final target is around $18 for near. Of course, there's still possibility if Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin start retracing that we'll come back here to this demand zone here. But overall, I do expect this demand zone to hold before then we take off. Near is one of the very, has a coin with a lot of hype around it. And I do believe near is a very, very good coin to hold, as I've been saying. Same here if we go on Theta. Theta, you know that, guys, that follow me, that I love Theta. Here's a trade that we took in the VIP. We entered here at 0 0.31 and we had got a very nice bounce and I'm hoping for this to continue. So same here. We have a 1, 2 wave on Theta, 3, three fourth wave at the 0 0.31, one of my favorite patterns. So very could make a very strong case at the lowest in and Theta is now going up here. Next target is 5.3, the Fibonacci target, and my final target for Theta is around $9. So Theta, I'm holding out of spot personally, and I do think this could be a good area to get in a buy. Of course, if you want to enter with leverage, the best would have entered exactly down here at 2.4. Right now, it's a bit risky because your, your risk to reward will be much uh, bigger, but still a good place to start adding to spot packs. So this is what I wanted to cover. Then I had some requests here today, which I want to go through. So somebody asked me to cover AVE. So here on AVE, it looks very interesting on the weekly. Uh, we have this major pitchfork that... Uh, I've been having for some time. You can see we found resistance at the 0 0.5 level here. So ideally, I would like to see AVE to come above this level for me to be very bullish and say that AVE will go to 360. Uh, I do think it's a possibility, but something to pay attention, AVE has been going sideways for a very, very long time. So in my opinion, it can be a good coin to hold, but right now I'd rather focus on like AVAX or NEAR or Theta, one of these coins that are showing strength. Uh, personally, this is not something I'm looking to buy, but even though it has a big possibility to go to the median line. Something else, somebody asked me to cover FET. Uh, so this uh, Fetch AI, this is something a pitch for Cabin High for a long time. I've been saying that we're gonna go here to this median line here. We'll go away from the log scale, you can see here, we already went through it. We found some resistance here as always, algorithms were selling. You can see we got a big dick, uh, big wick here and here on the uh, log scale, you can see we still haven't reached. So right now you're kind of buying the top if you invest here but it still has possibility to go at least 200% higher. Also, if you come here on the daily, you could look for something like a smaller time frame, one, two, three, four, now going for the fifth wave. So from the second wave, ideally you want to look to the third wave. Uh, here will be a very, if markets start dumping, here will be a very nice area to enter at 1.7. I don't think we're gonna go this low because it looks like the fourth wave is in on most altcoins and we're gonna continue to rally, but something to keep in mind. Something else I'm trying to cover as many altcoins as I can, so I try to cover them quickly. So here on INJ, you have covered this multiple times. I'm still bullish. We have this major pitchfork. This fourth wave looks very ugly. I mean, it's still, it's the fourth wave, but very, very long fourth wave. So um, I still have, the, we're still gonna go here to 70, as I've been saying. So I think the fourth wave has bottomed here right now, just some more sideways, but at so sooner or later, uh, INJ will c come here to this medium line. Says algorithms need, need to sell their position. I think if we look here also from this low here to this high, and we'll go away from the log scale, uh, we can see, or actually from the second wave down here, how the 0 0.31 has acted at multiple times as support. Yes, we've been through it, but we've got many weeks here that did not manage to close. So overall, I'm bullish INJ. A uh, bit lagger, uh, there are stronger coins to hold, but sooner or later it's going to have its time when it stops going sideways and going to start rallying. So still a bullish coin to hold. The last coin I want to cover, somebody asked me to cover, is AGIX. So this is a very interesting coin. It's very uh, bullish right now. And if you see here on the four hour, I've had this as a one, two, three, four, five. So here's one of the patterns I'm always talking about that I like so much. So you can see here from the second wave, if we take here from the major second wave to the third wave, you can see we came here to the third wave. You can see the fourth wave bottomed exactly at the 0 0.31. So you could have bought here and brought it up to exactly this. These are the only two FIPS I'm using. You can see how well the market has respected. So I do think that we have just hit a major fifth wave for IGIX. It still has higher to go in my opinion, but it's something to be cautious of because we already had a bottom here in the fourth wave. So we technically has fi have finished the fifth wave. So of course, this is still a bullish coin to hold, but always to, to be cautious when price has reached this minus 0,236 FIB level. What you can do is try to catch the second fourth wave. So you you move the FIB level to this high here. So if we would start coming down here to the 0.31 would be a good area to enter. Personally, I would be scared to buy this high since from the second wave up until now, we've gone up 500%. So probably it has higher to go, but I do think there are better coins to put your money in. So this is all for today's video. 
Keep an eye on Bitcoin, Ethereum also looks super bullish, looks like the fourth one we is seen. Still a small possibility will come down to the 0.31, but overall I do expect Bitcoin to go to 90k and that's going to be the top of the bull market in my opinion. If you're interested in more analysis, please join my free Discord link down below. I also offer VIP Discord, just send me a message if you're interested to join and subscribe because I post daily and see you again in the next video. Yeah, trendsetter, whoa, league of my own, it don't get better. No, read what I wrote, I'm a bestseller. Yeah, reach for my goals, hit it.